Okay, do I need to explain to you what you need to do, or are you good? Let's do it. Okay, so what do you see here? Leaves. <laughs> <laughs> what season is it? Fall. Autumn. What's this? A faucet. Tap. What's this? Wi-Fi. Yeah, but what's the box that the Wi-Fi is pumped out of? Router. Router. We say router. What's? Wait. What are we looking at? Oh, these little green things. What do you call them? Pickles. Gherkins. What's in the glass pot? Jelly. Jam. So if that was jelly, then what's this? Jello. We call this jelly. Wibble wobble wibble wobble jelly on a plate. Do you never say that? No. That's weird. What are we looking at here? A house. Okay, so what's the general term for like houses and buildings and stuff? Like if you were like, oh, I've got loads of money. I want to buy some... Real estate. Property. We would say property. You would say... Real estate. Some real estate comes with a massive one of these. What are you looking at there? This nice green area. A backyard. We'd call that a garden. Or a front yard. Well, this Depending yard is like a front. sideways yard because it's so damn big. I wish this was my house. It's not. When you actually make the purchase, who do you talk to in order to actually buy it? Oh, I know this one. Go. The realtor. We would call them an estate agent. You gave it to me. A realtor and I promise I am not gonna let you down what's this person of unspecified gender doing jumping rope skipping what are these kids in ball pit ball pool we say pool ball pool really? yeah ball pool ball pool no it's a ball pit it's a ball pool because it's a pool of balls and it's a pit who's this guy janitor we would call him a caretaker because he's taking care of the building. You would say... A janitor. Um, this is somewhere where you'd go. There might be a pool, a gym, maybe a sauna, a, a steam room, all this stuff. What would you call it? A gym. Well, that's the gym, the gym part. But the whole building which might encapsulate all this, like a sports hall, a gym, a swimming pool, a sauna, a steam room. What do you call the whole building? A gym. Oh, the gym has a sauna? Cool. Oh, the gym has a pool? Cool. It's a gym. We would call it a leisure center. Have you heard, like, do you know leisure center? Do you say that in the States? No. Uh, what class are these poor people sitting in? Coach. Yeah. We would say economy. When you get on the plane, you are permitted to take this on board. What do you call this? Carry on. We would say hand luggage. What's this vehicle? An RV. An RV. We call that a camper van, and I really want one. Jack Burns, out of the RV, you are acting like such a jerk. You're supposed to use that dude's money to buy an RV. RV, yeah? I can totally get you an RV. So you go on your summer holiday and you spend a week in a... Trailer park. We'd call that a caravan park. So what would you call these white things that are parked up here? Trailer. We call them caravans. What bird is this? A parakeet. Budgerigar, did you not know that? Excuse me? Budgerigar, do you not know budgerigars? You know, never had a budgie when you was younger? No. You never had a budgie? No. These are budgies. I don't like birds. You like cats? Yeah. Because they kill birds? Yeah. So budgie comes out the oven. What's that? Rotisserie chicken. We call that a roast chicken. What's this thing with the handle? A pitcher. Jug. Juice box. Juice carton. Or carton of juice. Milk. Thicker. Yogurt. Yogurt. Do it again. Do it again. Yogurt. 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 Oh, italki. Do you know anything about italki? No. It's an online platform, so you can learn a new language, whichever language you want, with your own personal tutor. It's convenient. You can schedule a lesson whenever you want. It's affordable. You can get a lesson for ten dollars an hour, fifteen dollars an hour, sometimes less, depending on which country you're in. You can choose your teacher. You can watch a video, which will introduce your teacher to you and it gives you the real personalized, authentic, real and cultural language learning experience. You keen? Yeah. Click the link in my description to get $10 off with your first purchase. This girl has finished her Degree. project, her work, and she's going to give it to her teacher. What's she gonna do? Turn it in. Hand it in. Turn it in. And she's gonna hand it to her teacher, hand it in. Now the teacher's gonna take it and he's gonna go through it and he's gonna look at it. So what's he gonna do? Grade. He's gonna grade it. Mm -hmm. We say mark, he's gonna mark it. Have you marked your work? Sir, have you marked my test? Have you graded my test? 
if you're clever, you'll get lots of these in it. What are these? Check marks. Yeah, we'd say ticks. 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 Tick box. Check mark. What are these kids doing right now? Taking a test. They are sitting an exam. They're taking a test. You know when you revise for an exam? He's British, by the Ruined way. Ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> He's a test or a... A test yeah. or something. Who's this bloke? A teacher. What's his job? A proctor. What does a proctor do? A proctor's an exam. We call him an invigilator. These kids have just been told class is over. What are they now on? Recess. Break time. These kids are in their final years of high school, so they're like 17 turning 18 kind of thing. What would you refer to these kids as? They're seniors. Seniors. We would say year 13, so we don't have this whole freshman, sophomore. What's after that? Junior? Junior, senior. So Americans say? Freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. We just have year 10, 11, 12, 13 as those equivalents. We don't have special names, so... These guys, if they were leaving to go to university next year, or as you would say... College. Then we would say they're in year 13, i.e. second year of sixth form. What game are they playing with these things? Baseball. Mm, it's like baseball, but for kiddies. Wiffle ball. Wiffle ball. We would call it rounders. A good game of rounders down the beach or in the school field is a great laugh. Do you have rounders or not? No. It doesn't mean anything to you? No. Oh, okay. Who's this bloke? Santa Claus! Father Christmas. Santa Claus. How would you greet your fellow Americans at this festive time of year? Merry Christmas. We would say Happy Christmas, although loads of people say Merry Christmas now. What's this girl wearing? A bathrobe. We would call that a dressing gown. Would Do you have this concept of dressing gown or not? No. It's a bathrobe. You yeah. take a shower or a bath and then you put your bathrobe on. Leave a comment if you have a dressing gown and if you love your dressing gown. What's this guy doing? Foraging for food in the forest. True, but what's his job? He's getting paid to do this. Oh, he's restocking the shelves. Stocking shelves? Mm -hmm. We say stacking shelves. No, he's stock, stack, stocking? Yeah. That's confused you, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, we, we literally say stock, uh, wait, no, you say stocking, we say stacking. Yeah, he's so, restocking. Yeah, no, I'd say he's a shelf stacker, because he's stacking the things on he's the shelf. He's a shelf stalker because he's restocking his stock of goods on the shelf. You're driving down the road, high street, you want to hack a left at the end of the road, what do you do? You would use your turn signal. We'd call it an indicator. You probably have, n I don't know, do you have any clue what this is? A tractor? It's like the bottom bit of a motor vehicle, it's got a special name which is spelt like this, C-H-A-S-S-I-S. -S -S. Have you even, even come- A chassis? Americans say chassis, right? I think so. We say chassis. What's the big city here that isn't London? Birmingham. Birmingham. What do you typically call the main road or street that runs down the center of like the town? Main street. We call it the high street. What's this? A garage. Garage. Do it again. Do it again. Garage. What's in the red circle? A period. Full stop. Parentheses. Brackets. What letter is that? Z. Z. This girl dresses in tie-dye. She's got a nose piercing. How would you describe her? Crunchy. I would say she's a hippie, maybe? Yeah, hippie or... Crunchy. Wow, these guys are really crunchy. Yeah, very crunchy. So peaceful. On Netflix, there is a whole variety of different TV... Shows. ...programs to watch. Program was always like the typical word for a TV show, but it's kind of dying out, but I'm trying to keep it alive in this video, so... If you're a lover of a good old-fashioned TV program, then leave me a comment. One for the musicians, so I'd call this semi brief minim, crotchet, quaver, semi quaver, demi semi quaver, and then demi dem. Semi demi. Semi demi, demi semi? One know. of them. I don't know. I would call them whole note, half note, quarter note, eighth note, sixteenth note, thirty second note, sixty fourth note. Americans keep things simple, right? Mm hmm. Fire truck. Fire engine. Hospital. Mm, specifically the part that you would go to if you had had some kind of major accident? Oh, ER. A and E. What does the ER stand for? Emergency room. A and E stands for accident and emergency. 
So the bad news is if you've had a really bad accident, you need an operation, okay? This girl is going to come and put some stuff in your veins or your arteries, which is going to make you go to sleep. Who is she? The anesthesiologist. Anesthetist. Anesthesiologist. Okay, so your operation didn't go so well and now you are here. She's on like a life support machine. She's in the ICU. She's in intensive care. Intensive care unit. We just call it intensive care. Uh, you've lost your job and you're given this... Pink slip. What's a pink slip? Basically, you're fired. When you're fired in the UK, you're handed your P45. And I think the P45 is kind of the equivalent of the US pink slip. Yes. Your boss gives you this box and says, pack your stuff, you're done. You didn't do anything wrong, but what's happened to you? You've been laid off. Yeah, we would say you've been made redundant. So we would say this is redundancy. You've been laid off. If you want a new job, once you've been laid off slash made redundant, then you might want to write up one of these. What is it? A resume. CV. Curriculum Vitae. Curriculum Vitae. Mm, just looking at this. Checking it out. Ooh, testing your knowledge of constellations. What is this constellation here? These last two point north to the North Star, the Pole Star. Big Dipper. We call it the Plough. What game is this? Shoots and ladders. Snakes and ladders. We have snakes, you have... Shoots. This guy sat on a... Haystack. Bale of hay is holding a... Flashlight. Torch. Is it a banana or is it a torch? Is it a banana or is it a torch? Is it a banana or is it a torch? The answer is it's a torch that looks like a banana.